Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you the Artist Embellishment Kit. It's in the occasion catalog on page 27. This is the kit. And see here they did a card. Well, we only get two of the die um, cut a rosette. And it is so pretty that I'm going to sh show it to you how to use it as a... Um, a template so we can use it over and over and over for a template you still can use it when you're done with your template you're going to be still using it if you want on a card let's see um well oh here we go i got a blue one so here we go i could still use it maybe you're going to have some stain on the side but it's just going to give more character so it come it's um saracen and the other side it's white so I use the white one because I think later on I would want to use the Saracen so let's get started the more I was doing with that I learned a few tips on uh, so I'm going to share that with you I forgot my green though let me grab my uh, pure pizzazz because that's one color we're going to need and that's the color that I like to use the kit to come with this velvet um, ribbon the crochet, the rosette, and it come with like pearls and um, the doily pearls and you get some embellishment. So you get a lot of stuff for the $9. This, I did it on a note card here and you see I used the rosette there. So let's show you today how to use that as a template. So it, this is a little bit less than th um, four by three, but I cut my paper four by three. I'm gonna put that right here. See, I get a little border all around. I'm using a post-it note. I'm gonna put that right there at the edge so it's not moving. And you know what? I think if I have two, it's gonna be even better. So I'm gonna take another one so it stay flat here. I wanna try to make it's not quite right. It's good enough for me, right? Okay, I'm going to start with the pure pizzazz. I like to start with that color. And I'm going to move this that you can see a little bit better here. Here we go. Here we go. So where I see the leaves... I'm going to use my pure pizzazz and don't twist because see when you twist you're going to pull that it's very delicate so I'm just going to tab a little bit and a little bit you can twist a little bit to push more the ink but not too much even if it go on your petal of the rose don't worry about it it's going to by the time you're done it's going to be good See there, I went there, and I'm not even worried about it. Now, uh, today I'm going to use um, Strawberry Slush and Blushing Bright. This one was Rose Red and Blushing Bright, and I think I even used some Pink Pirouette. So we're just going to use two colors today. I'm going to start with the darkest color, that is uh, Strawberry Slush, and I just dab this. See, I just that. The other one I was, uh, you know, doing the twist motion. Well, if you do the twist motion, you have to be careful. Now I'm going to take some of the color because it was plenty on my dauber. And I'm going to come back. Okay, now let's go with the lightest color. That's going to be the Blushing Bride. So another dauber for that. Where you get more of the, uh, I should say the template, where it's not so delicate, then you can push more your ink, you know, with the twisting motion. But the center, you pretty much cannot do the twisting motion because it go right, it peel the, like right here, I it lift, you would break it. So keep on tabbing.
whoops be careful so this is how you can use it over and over and over so then you can do more than two cards with this pattern because if you just use the uh, die cut well, you're limited to two cards. This way you can use many, many, many of them. This one is very delicate because it's big and it's very tiny, the lines. So I have to be super careful. Well, there, I don't like to delete that. Get more of the red. So I'm going to go a little bit darker there. Here we go. And then we're going to come right here. So we're pretty much done here. Oh, this one, it's not even done at all. So you just look around to make sure it seemed that you get all the colors. And now let's lift this here just on one side. So then you can check. Okay, now it looks good. So I can remove it completely and voila. You get your pattern very nicely. And then what i done, I sponge around. You could cut it even shorter, you know, all around when you're done. Or you can uh, brush it. So then you get your frame around it. And we're almost done. Et voila, my friend. This is done. See how simple it was? So now I just have to make my card. So to see the finished uh, product and to get all the supplies list, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com and I'm going to have all the supplies list and you can order everything right there at frenchystamps.com. Thank you so much and have a great day my friends.